Hey, Phil from Euroheat here. And often we're asked whether the same heat source that provides the heat for, let's say, the floor heating system, whether that can also be used to heat up the pool. So let me tell you how best to do it and what to avoid. So pools are notorious for being huge energy consumers. They leak energy like a sieve. There's, there's energy being lost through the surface and also through the sides into the ground through the concrete shell. And so they're just constantly leaking energy in. You put energy in, the next day 20% is gone. So what do we do about that? Well, probably the worst way to do it is by using a, a gas boiler or a gas pool heater. And so even though gas is relatively cheap, because the pool loses so much heat, you're just constantly putting more and more energy in. You're burning more gas, creating more heat, sending it to the pool, and then it's being lost. So uh, we would recommend at Euroheat to avoid using a gas heater to use just a normal, uh, or to heat rather a standard pool. The next best thing after that is, if we have a heat pump which we're using to heat, let's say, uh, our floor heating system, so in summer that heat pump is sitting there idle because we're only using the heat pump to heat the floors in winter. So it's actually a great idea to use that heat pump to heat the pool in summer. Uh, first of all, because the air is warm, because we're, it's summer or even uh, late spring or early autumn, and that means the air temperatures are high and the heat pump can work at very high efficiencies. So for every little bit of electricity you put in, it generates a large amount of heat. So it doesn't really cost you much. But even better is if we also have a solar PV system. And that means we can time the heat pump to only work during the times or the hours that the solar system is producing electricity. So therefore we're basically offsetting that electrical use. And we're pretty much heating the pool for free most of the time. So that's a pretty good way to, to actually heat the pool for little to no cost. Now the best way to do it is actually use your reject heat. And when I say reject heat, sure, you can't just do it from a standard heat pump. You need a special heat pump that can both simultaneously heat and cool. But what happens is you might be using uh, air conditioning in the house, so you are cooling on one side. And if you think about your traditional aircon unit, what's happening is outside it's blowing out hot air. So instead of blowing that hot air out, what we do is we capture that and we send it to the pool. And the heat pump still works efficiently. And we're basically, instead of generating that heat again and then sending it to the pool, we're just capturing what would otherwise otherwise be wasted heat and we're sending that to the pool for free pool heating. Any of the three options, even though even the gas boiler, which we don't recommend, but the, the, the standard air water heat pump or the uh, heat recovery heat pump, they can be easily combined with your pool heating. Uh, what we do is we, we don't actually mix the water from the pool with the system water, with the hydronic system water. There's a, a special thing in there called a heat exchanger and that allows the energy to be transferred but the water doesn't actually mix. And so that is quite a, a simple thing to do and it's very established technology that has been around for many, many, many decades. So if you would like to heat your pool smartly uh, and when combining it with, let's say, a floor heating system, at Euroheat we've been doing this for almost 30 years and we'd love to help you too. So if you would like some expert advice, uh, send us an email with your uh, information and ideas. Uh, if you've got any plans, that's fantastic. We love to see plans. The more information, the better. Send them through and we'll get back to you with uh, if and how we can help you best.